these participants and the directors and everyone has just been such a joy and without them we definitely could have made it. I didn't even know what to think when Sweepstakes was announced. We must become countercultural. We must become ambassadors of change, Stanford University. Stanford is a great value, a great experience, and provides a great education. Hello and welcome in everybody to this edition of the Sanford Chronicle. I'm Brad Radici, your host and a 1999 Sanford graduate. The spring semester is underway, but spring wasn't on the mind of students during the first few days of classes. Something rare for Alabama fell. It was snow. Bringing back memories of my freshman year back in 1995 provides an awful lot of fun for students. And with the start of the spring semester came news that further solidified Sanford's national reputation. The prestigious Princeton Review, in partnership with USA Today, names Sanford as one of the top 50 best values among private colleges and universities. Sanford was one of two Alabama schools listed in the top 100 and the only one on the private schools list. The Princeton Review and USA Today ranked us or rated us on several categories, which we find to be very important. First of all, the personal experience a student would receive once they get here, small classroom, intimate operations with uh, faculty, full-fledged faculty, not graduate assistants. It also further substantiates the academic experience that our students have when they're ready for graduate or professional training. For some time, we've known that uh, our uh, costs that a family would pay were less than national average, certainly less than what a student or family would pay had they attended a peer private institution, so this particular uh, recognition does help us validate what we've known for some time that Sanford is a great value, a great experience, and provides a great education. The entrepreneurship program in the Brock School of Business also receives a big honor. The first ever Outstanding Emerging Entrepreneurship Program Award by the U.S. Association of Small Business and Entrepreneurship. The association is the largest independent professional academic organization in the world focused on advancing entrepreneurship. Sanford's national academic reputation also is enhanced by the presence of 13 National Merit Scholars in this year's freshman class. A total of 39 National Merit Scholars are currently enrolled, comparing favorably with Sanford's peers. Aside from what we publish in terms of indicators of quality that are read at the national level, these students bring their gifts and abilities to this community. So through their, uh, through their unique contributions, through their, their gifts and habits of mind, through their sharpened intellects, uh, they make this uh, a more enriched and um, interesting community to be a part of for all people. And already this semester, the Sanford community has had many opportunities for extracurricular and co-curricular activities. Lectures on immigration reform and the traditional opening convocation provided special speakers. Arts events also dot the Sanford calendar on a weekly basis. The university also celebrated Black Heritage Month with special speakers and other activities. Today we, Sanford University and our communities must face the fact that the 11 o'clock hour on Sunday morning is still the most segregated hour in the nation. We must become subversive. We must become countercultural. We must become ambassadors of change, Stanford University. We must go to churches, we must go to schools, and we must go to universities where we may not be welcomed and declare, I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. An emotional moment came for the Sanford community right here on the Pete Hanna Center floor on senior night for the men's basketball team. Four senior players were recognized and the university retired the number of the late Jim Griffin. Griffin, who would have been a senior this season, died unexpectedly in September. 
What would the spring semester be without us talking about step sing? A tradition here at Sanford since 1951, one that I partaked in twice myself. But you know what? The tapes. We have lost the tapes. But I can tell you about the 11 other acts that happened here at the Wright Center this past weekend. I cannot say enough about how awesome the participants have been. They have just been so great to work with and such, such a blessing to come um, and work with them every single day and just be directors to them and just working with our committee, we couldn't have done it without them. And so every, every day has been a joy to come and these participants and the directors and everyone has just been such a joy and without them we definitely could have made it. The coveted sweepstakes award went to Dudes Aplenty a group of independent men who organize annually just to perform in step sync. I didn't even know what to think when sweepstakes was announced. Um, it wasn't really happening, it was kind of that slow motion moment. Um, we ran on stage, celebrated, and the next moment I just couldn't wait for the guys to get here to be with us. Because it didn't seem right with just Jeremy and I, because we needed all 70 of them to just really enjoy the moment. I love. The guys that we've got in Dudes of Plenty, um, from the freshmen to sophomore, uh, juniors and seniors, and the seniors that have been a part of the ride since Monsters, and it's been a good long ride, and uh, love you guys. Other step sing winners were Pi Kappa Phi Fraternity and Phi Mu Sorority. And that's just one of the many fun activities here on Sanford's campus. There's so much to tell you about, but we've run out of time here on the Sanford Chronicle. I'm Brad Radici, I'll see you next time, but in the meantime, don't forget to check out Samford.edu. See you when uh, maybe spring is finally sprung here on the campus. <laughs>